Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well. And um, Shalom to the whole elect that's uh, continually plowing, is giving all diligence, is pushing this, uh, this, this word wholeheartedly in our faith, truth, sincerity. Now, the um, topic of this video is going to be centered around this uh, recent recent controversy concerning you know the NFL and um, Donald Trump you know basically this this whole thing is going on about the American flag you know how Jake that's in these um, different teams in the NFL um Especially one person that uh, his name escapes me right now, but uh, you know, he. Whenever, whenever there's um, the people stand up for the the flag, you know, the American flag, you know, he he stays seated. And also recently, what happened to the the Pittsburgh Steelers? You know, they didn't go out. If I'm not mistaken, they didn't go out during the uh, when they were. You know these people are saluting the flag, and um, and you got Esau that's pretty much got his uh, panties in a bunch, so to speak, <laughs> because you know Jake don't want to go out and you know salute the flag or whatever. But this is the thing, man. You know, concerning the American flag. Or, or should I say, you know, America in general. This is the place of our captivity. This is the, this is not a place to relax. You know, get some lemonade. You know, and uh, chill on your recliner. This is the place of our our judgment, man. Our our sins, our prison sins. Because we went against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in which the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name Yahweh Shai. We went against the words that were spoken to us, the commandments that we, that was given to us. We we, we uh, transgress those commandments, and now we're in the condition that we're in because of that. All right. And see, um, not only you know this topic is centered around. You know the NFL, you know the the, the um, controversy that's going on in the NFL, but this also is um, focused on you know you so-called Negro Hispanics and Native Americans in general, because one way or another, they also um, you know give reverence to the flag, you know salute the flag, and you know they're all they're all about the American way of life. But the thing is that. This is the place of our captivity. This is the place to serve our sins and to be in continual en enslavement until our Lord, Yahweh Shah, returns to save us, man, to deliver us out of this condition. Because we can't get ourselves out of this condition. There's no way. It's, it's been done multiple times. You had so called leaders, you know, come into the picture and try to, you know, so called get people out of the condition at the end but the thing is that they didn't the condition at the end is not self inflicted self inflicted so to speak you know because there's a higher power at work when it comes to that man okay now there was a judgment that was written for us going against his commandments or judgments plural should I say for doing that and guess what those judgments came to pass man look where we at we're in America right now this is the place of our, our, our captivity alright but not to um, to wind you know wind on any longer I'm gonna go ahead and get into the precepts this is the book of uh, Baruch chapter 3 
verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. All right. Now, that's not talking about back during the ancient world when this when it was written. All right. This is talking about now because the things that are written in the scriptures didn't pertain unto that time, man. All right. It was written for this time now. All right. That's why it says in the book of uh, Romans, chapter 15, if I'm not mistaken, it says, um, all things that are written before time are written for our learning. All right. So the scripture is talking about now. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. See, that I was talking about earlier. About how we transgress the uh, law says commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. And now we're here in, in, the, in the place of our captivity. All right, for approaching a curse, because these, this is the curse that we're going to go into, go into slavery again in ships, as you can find that in Deuteronomy twenty-eight sixty-eight. All right, and it says, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. See, it says we're subject to payments, man. All right. Now that's a uh, particular scripture. In the book of uh, Haggai, I want to see if I can get it. Yeah, that's it on that precept. I want to go ahead and grab uh, Haggai for just one second. That's lucky. It's uh, Haggai chapter one, verse six. It says, "Ye have sown much, and bring in little." You eat, but you have not enough. You drink. It's like it. It says, uh, but ye are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Cause see, right now we when we work a, when we work a job, you know, what what do they give you at the end of your um at the end of that period your wages all right and when it comes to uh jake you know esau loves to uh place jake in a uh, minimum wage man you know make make the the least you know the crumbs the crumbs of the crumbs when it comes to uh working man all right let jake do all the hard work and uh get paid a little for what they do all right what's that sound yet like to you man All right. And then you know, Esau's got it set up to where Jake the only way the only way our people can get out of that condition is they bow down to Esau, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All right? And our adversary. All right? That's the only way. So like it says right here, man, you earn wages as you earn wages in the, to put in a bag full of holes. And what that means is you have to continually, continually work to live and to eat and to drink and to clothe yourself. All right. And yet here it is today. You know, our people want to want to stay here in America, knowing that this is this is what this is the condition that they have to live in, man. See. Esau messed up our people so much that they they really believe that this this condition is how to live. This this is how you're supposed to live. But this is the complete opposite of how you're supposed to live, man. All right. Now let me grab another uh, precept. Yeah, this is the opposite of the way how, you, how you're supposed to live, man, because this this place is known as the valley of the shadow of death. All right, because everywhere you look is everywhere is death, man, no matter where you turn. That's why that's why we need a savior, man. That's why we need Yahweh Shai, because we need, we're not going to do it by ourselves, man. Do, and and uh, keeping 100% of the law is not going to do it either, man. All right, you can't save yourself. This is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. 
because it's polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction all right so there it is man it said rise ye and depart for this is not your rest okay this isn't your rest man this is this isn't our rest man this is this is this is not how you're supposed to live man all right having you know having to work paycheck to paycheck just to make ends meet Like I said before, man, that's how Esau got it set up to where the system is set up to, to their benefit. So no, no matter what you do, you know, the money goes right back into their pockets, no matter what. All right. So even if you do got a little money on you, you know, you, you making you making bank, so to speak. And, you know, you got something that money still goes right back into their pockets, man. All right. It goes right back in their pockets and more all right because they they implement uh a thing called usury all right user user is pretty much interest where you add a, a a certain increase to whatever they get back that's how the system is set up and like i said before our people want to live in this condition all right now i'm gonna go to our book of isaiah chapter uh, 30 let's see Actually, I'm starting at verse. I'm gonna skip around a little bit. It says, uh, "This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse two. It says that that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked my mouth, talking about Israel, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. See, they they trust in slavery, man. They trust in continual employment. All right. It says, therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All right." Now I'm skip down a little bit. Verse twelve it says, "Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise His word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant." That's talking about the fall of America, man, because the fall of America is going to be sudden. The Lord's going to return as a thief in the night. All right, and see Israel. Despise the word of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai because this is the truth and this is what we're telling them. All right, it's from the high level, high level Jake, high level Israelite to the uh, low level Israelite because this word is being pushed out throughout the four corners of the earth full force. And the higher ups hear this, all right, to the uh, and the, even the lowest, lowest of uh, Israel hears this, man. All right, and see, like it says right here, man, they trust in oppression and perverseness and they stay on it, man. All right, they really think that this this is to their benefit. All right, that's like I said before, man. You know, Jake. You know, Jake is pretty much you know have Stockholm syndrome, man. Uncle Tomahawks and Uncle Toms. All right. That's why that's why it says right here it said that, look this iniquity is gonna beat you as a breach ready to fall, man. So this whole system that they have set up is about to fall real soon, man. All right. And yet they want to, you know, salute the flag and, you know, do this and that and say America is, is my my home. You know, you were brought here on, on in slave ships, man. You, you kind of America, your home. Man, it's crazy, man. That's that's how gone our people are. But that pretty much is the point, man. I just want to bring out these precepts just to, you know, reach out to the whole members of the whole elect and um, remind these silly Jake, you know, it's these silly niggas and, um, Tom and Uncle Tomahawks. All right, that this isn't your place of rest. All right, so don't get comfortable. All right, because it's about it's about to uh, shit is about to hit the fan real soon, man. It's about to be hellish out here, and you're gonna and you're gonna see Esau's true horns. So with that, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemuel Shai? Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually real very well. And peace and safety to the whole elect that is um, continually pushing this word full force in all faith, truth, sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.